Look at all the cool little shelves. You guys are going to know how to do this by the end of this video. Hey everyone, this is Syntax, and today I'm going to be showing you guys three custom designs for shelves that you guys can use in your maps to overall increase the aesthetic value, and just to have a cool little place to put little props around. So yeah, let's get into it. The first design I'm going to be going over, I'm calling the screen design because it is literally two screens mirrored on top of each other to create this sort of black shelf look that has a nice little lip out front there, and then it flattens out on the top, and it has the lip in the back as well. So let's look at how to do this. First thing you gotta do, go ahead to Gallery, select Props, and go to the Shark Prop Gallery. If you head down a little bit, you should see this screen. Go ahead and grab it, make sure your grid snap is on 32, and all you're gonna wanna do is shrink it down um, quite a bit. And you're going to want to grow it to whatever length you want the shelf to be. So as you can see, I grew it to be about this length. Um, but if you want it to be a shorter shelf, you can, of course, make it this length. And then, of course, you're going to roll it so that it is facing downward like so. Now, of course, if you don't like how thin it is, you can always resize the depth it is, I believe. So yeah, you can just do something like that. It's a little bit thicker. But anyway, you want to take this, uh, go back to your rotate, and just rotate it 360 degrees the other way. And you should see you get this cool little shelf design. As you can see, when I did it right now, there is a tiny gap. So if you want to close that gap, again, just grow or shrink the depth a little bit. But yeah, have your 32 snap on. And I just added ropes from the pirate prop gallery to make them kind of look like they're hanging. But they don't have to be hanging. As you can see, if I head up to this kid's room here, um, it is the exact same shelf design, except there is no ropes hanging. It's just kind of attached to the wall. So yeah, shelf design one is the screen design. The second design I'm going to be showing you guys today is a little bit more basic. It's just the wood plank design, um, but it's a classic and it works really well in a lot of areas of houses. It doesn't matter if your house is modern, doesn't matter if it's old, this shelf works. So basically you're going to need three pieces of wood. Again, select galleries and select props. Go to the outdoor residential prop gallery and you have these different wood pallets to choose from. You have this one right here, this one right here, and this one right here. First thing you want to do, of course, is grab your wood and rotate it to make sure it's facing whatever way you want. And you're going to want to grow all of it. You have resize all turned on. Just go ahead and grow all of it. Um, and once you have the thickness you want, just change the width to whatever length you want. So if you want that length, that looks like a good length for me, you can just use that length. Now, using the same piece of wood, you're just going to take it, um, go ahead and shrink it up again. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have that YAW axis turned on. Rotate it so that it is perpendicular to the piece of wood you just made. Um, and take the roll function and then roll that wood so that it is something like this. So it looks like a support beam for the shelf you just created. Now, this one right here, obviously, if I just keep it 32 snapped, I can go mirror it on this side over here. This one is a little bit more slanted. It's a little bit more into the wood. I personally prefer it. But again, this works as well. So all you're doing is taking three pieces of wood, making one super long, and then having two support beams to make this cool looking wood plank shelf. And that is our second custom shelf design. Our third custom shelf design is actually not in the map I've already created. It is in a map I have not released yet. So we're going to go ahead and look at it right now. Now, this shelf is similar to our last shelf in the essence that it is wood planks that I'm using for the actual shelf, but the thing that's holding it is actually pretty unique. You see, I went ahead to the Wild West prop gallery and I looked around and I saw this little cart um, and I thought maybe I could stick some shelves on that. So that's exactly what I did. I just took the cart, um, put the roll function on in terms of turning so that I could face it upright and hung it from this kind of frame right here. And I took the exact same wood planks from the outdoor residential prop gallery that we used in our last shelf design and I placed them um, attaching on either side of the cart. And as you can see, it makes a really good looking shelf. Um, this is actually a flower shop for one of my maps that I'm not done with yet. Don't worry about it though, um, because it'll, it'll be coming soon. It'll come soon enough don't worry about it but anyway it just looks really good you can put this in a flower shop you could put this in just any kind of shop you could have this hanging in like a garden house that you have on one of your maps but you can really make a shelf out of any of the props you want just take that prop make sure it's got some gaps in between it and boom you have your own little custom shelf so we'll call this our third shelf the wagon shelf Anyway guys, there you have it. Three custom shelf designs you can use in your own maps to increase the aesthetic value and just have a cool spot to put little props on if you're looking to fill some empty space on a wall. Um, anyway guys, I hope this video helped you out and uh, yeah, this has been Syntax. Later. <laughs>